All right, welcome to Strider Tree Gear. Uh, in this tips and tricks video, I'm gonna break down the process to do some basic negative rigging on a fairly vertical spar using the rigging ring. This is an all gear one, but it X rings or uh, there's a few different types. But we use a basic rigging ring setup to do some negative rigging on a vertical spar. I'll show you the whole thing start to finish and hopefully you guys will find this helpful and useful. All right, now I'm up at the top of this tree and we're getting ready to take the top and I'm gonna route my rope through the rigging ring above my tie-in point. I mean, above uh, into, the, into the wood that I'm gonna try and catch, but I'm gonna cut a face cut first so that I don't accidentally nick the rope while I'm cutting. So that's gonna be what's gonna happen next. Cut a little face cut, I'll route the rope, tie it off, um, and then we'll be ready to take the top. So here we go. Face cut here. Perfect. That. We got slack on this rope. I'm gonna make sure it's routed in such a way that it's not gonna interfere with my climb line because that's a good way to melt right through your climb line is if your rigging line has to uh, rub along it while it's under tension. So you don't want that. Route it through the ring. It's gonna go up, tie a quick run and bowl in. There is much debate about what's the best knot to use for this scenario. I sure like the running bowling. 90% of the time, that's what I'm gonna use. All right, so now the rope is right there where the hinge is, so I'm not gonna be worried about cutting it. I've got one more little branch I'm gonna cut out of the way, and I'll make my back cut. So the advantage of having an X ring in the system here is that it reduces the friction on the rope. So I'm gonna distribute the load of the impact of the top between the rope a little bit more evenly than I would if I was just natural crotch rigging or if I had a wrap around the tree or anything else. So it makes it much easier for the groundy to be smooth about releasing the, the branch. If there's less variables involved, this is gonna have a really consistent interaction between the ring and the rope. Now, it's nice to have a ring maybe instead of a block in this case because I don't have to stop this really quickly. And so the, the rope and from the ring up I don't care if it takes a little bit more load because of the friction here, and the little bit of the increased friction is actually gonna make a little bit of a less shock on the tree that I'm tied to. In which case, in, in this situation, that's what I want. If I was using a rigging block, it's gonna make the rope experience a more evenly distributed force, but at the same time, the tree itself is gonna, extreme, is gonna experience more force. And so in a, in a situation where you've got plenty of strong tree, but you have to catch something quickly, then that's where you might want a rigging block instead of this X-rigging ring. But this, because it's simple, because it's on one of these little uh, ultra slings with the loops, I don't have to tie any knots. It's gonna be really solid. It's gonna be a nice smooth experience. And Josh is down there on it, ready to go. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take this top. All right, we're gonna let this one run and catch it nice and slow. Here we go. Get that out of the way. Here it goes. Beautiful. Nice and slow. If you look here, this tree's hardly shaking. It was a very gradual, comfortable catch of what is actually a fairly significantly sized top. I'd like to point out we also cleared the trailer and Josh is doing a great job down there, dragging it out while still supporting some of the weight on the rope. That's what it's like to have a good groundy. So we took the top up there with this ring. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a chunk of wood. So I've got my ring set once again, right over the top of my, or uh, actually I wanna get my lanyard, just over the top of it, top of the ring. I've got my climb line underneath. We got my rigging line here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little face cut and then we'll tie the rigging line on. It's almost time for a bigger saw. We're at about the max on this little thing.
Beautiful. Now, because I don't have any, uh, I don't have any sticks, nubs, anything, it's just a nice straight piece of trunk. I'm gonna go ahead and use a half hitch and a running bowline in order to add a little bit of rope friction on this scenario. So we got, first we're gonna do the half hitch here. Make sure it's facing the right way. And then we do the running bowline up above it. And cinch them both off and route them so that they're over here on the side of the tree where the face cut is, keep it out of the way. Nice and snug right there. Oh, darn, I guess I better put it through the ring first. And that's the downside, doing the ring versus having the arborist block. If that was the arborist block, I'd just slap it right on there, midline attachable. But with the ring, gotta untie it and start over. One more time. No big deal if you're quick with knots, but man, watching some of these young guys do it. Underneath first, over again. Running bowling. Cool. So we got that all nice and secure. Climb line's good. Uh, positioning lanyard's good. Be right here on behind it. Make my back cut right here. Alrighty. Alrighty, here we go. Here we go. Woo! A little bit too much wrap on that porter wrap, but that's all right. Nice and secure. We got the branch right at the base of the tree. If we had materials around to avoid hitting, they'd all be safe despite a little, little wiggle jiggle at the end there. <laughs> so that was a little demo for you of how to use a rigging ring to perform negative rigging on a basic spar removal. Hopefully that was helpful. A lot of those concepts apply in a variety of different situations. And I just find this to be one of my more versatile pieces of equipment. So uh, be sure to check it out. I really particularly like the X rigging rings uh, because their anodizing is much more durable. This Alger one has uh, it's starting to wear through in some spots much more quickly. So the anodizing is not going to last as well. All the same, the rigging rings on these ultra slings are fantastic. There'll be a link in the description if you want to buy them and uh, make good use of it. So hopefully you found that helpful. Thanks for joining me at Strider Tree Gear and I'll catch you next time.